and Bordsley Labour Club. Well, we haven't lost a game in the league yet so far, so that will do for me. Uh, a long way to go, we all know that, but but aren't things looking a little bit more positive than they have done for a few years? My goodness gracious me. OK, on with the show we go. With us tonight, we've got Mark Holmes, a.k.a. Mr. Robe. Hello, everybody. Woo, Good woo, evening. And Paul Hipkiss, a.k.a. Mr. Sheen. You can see him glowing. Good evening, all. And of course, good friend, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown. Job. Got one job, what? isn't he? <laughs> 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 well, I think that was a, <clears throat> a positive result the weekend. Um, but first off, at the head of the show, I'm going to read this out from Caroline and Yardley. I'm posting this for a very good friend of mine who I call Auntie. And uh, she has sadly lost. Her loved one, and due to COVID reasons, it is only close family to attend the funeral. But the cars will be passing his beloved Blues. He was a mad Blues fan for sure and coached many football teams in his younger days. So can I please ask, if you are free, would you join me and show your respect by the Blues ground? Please, 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 if you're free, turn up and show respects. Details of the time is on the post on Caroline and Yardley's um, personal Facebook. But if you're listening, Caroline, please put the post up on the shirt box. Uh, thank you all. Rest in peace. Gone but not forgotten. Keep right on. That will be on Friday, the 25th of September, and it was uh, William Mills. So please, 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 if you can turn up at St Andrews, do that and uh, give them a good blue send-off. Couldn't, couldn't ask for that. Couldn't ask for that. Always sad to do those things at the uh, beginning of the show, but they, sometimes we just have to. Um, right, I've got an appeal um, from Birmingham Homeless Support Team. Now, I don't know if anybody noticed last week that I was top of the league on Super 6. Top of the league, yeah, me. No, I was top of the league on Super 6 with 14 points. I was that excited. I did my Super 6 straight afterwards, and for some unknown reason, it didn't register. And I know that I did it. And I challenged Jeff and everything. Yeah. So I've lost a week this week now. Uh, I am consciously aware that I owe the HST team £50 due to a bet with my sister. Uh -huh. uh, we were hoping to meet up in the studio this week, but unfortunately we can't do that due to restrictions in Solly Hall, Chris's house. Yeah. And um, so uh, I'll, I'll get that over to you, Chris, if that's all right with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, matey, if you give me some bank details later, I'll drop it to your bank or something. And I'm sure you can send it on. Um, unfortunately, Frankie Gavin's had to uh, cancel tonight, so we're awfully sorry about that, but, you know, the rest of the team are here, so we're going to crack on as we do normally. It's what Mondays are for, of course. Now, um, two games in then, Paul. First, 
right? Yeah. Okay, but we've beaten Swansea. That was a good draw, away draw. Yeah, we, we look. We, we suddenly look a team, don't we? I mean, we're so well organised at the back, and you know, there's a massive upgrade in. in I mean, Camp did work really well for us, but you can see the difference, kind of with Everage. I mean, the, the difference there is he's huge. commands that goal, doesn't he? he? Commands that goal. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah, and he's a, he's, he's going to be a, a great signing for us. I can tell straight away. Um, and that and always, 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 always been the crux of Birmingham City, the brilliant goalkeepers that we've had over the years. Absolutely, I think friend and Dean look a look a partnership, um, yep. and obviously then that 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 breeds off to Colin and Pedersen at fullbacks. I think Clayton in midfield as well has done ever so well, really good play, which then brings the brings the best out of Sunich, and he was absolutely immense on Saturday, Sunich. Um, and then yeah, you got the front three behind the, obviously Duke up front, and I mean Sanchez has, has come in and taken to Championship football immediately, and he's doing ever so well. Um, so yeah, the signs are really good, and and. You know, obviously now we've discussed in the summer about, you know, letting letting the football side of things be dealt with by obviously the coaches and the manager. And it looks like now that, that, is, that is now actually happening. And and the transfers that we've made um, are, are, are actually, you know, Karanka's decisions on who we sign. And it's making a refreshing change, isn't it? And it's a breath of fresh air at the moment. And, and that feel-good factor is coming back. And, Absolutely. You know, and another, we, we another, suddenly another look aside. Well. And, if, if, sorry, go on, Nick. Another quality signing today as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Mikhail, we've got a Mikhail back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He comes with a good pedigree. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know a lot about him because I don't. But you know, he's he's played. I mean, that La Liga is a good a good level to play at. If he's played over 300 games in that league, then you know he's he's he's, he's going to he's yeah. going to be a good signing. He would have he would have played against some of the best players on the planet ever to play the game in that league. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll come in and improve us even more, and then. You know, we've got Leco to come back, and if we can get Jack Clark in on loan, I don't know if there's any news on that, but I think that's He's great. Yeah, probably. no news yet. Um, I'd like to see another striker. I know Hogan's obviously signed permanently, which is also fantastic. We've still got to see him again, and um, yeah, I mean, if we can still, you know, bring in more goals, and I think for me, Saturday now is the big, big test because previously, you know, we would have we would have done well against the better teams, and yeah. probably would a little bit against the lower teams. So it's we need to annihilate that. somebody, Paul. We need to absolutely annihilate somebody. Yes. Mm. But I'll tell you what, though, Paul. Eight or cranky are, right? We, as Birmingham City football fans, are putting 100% trust and faith in you. Right? 100%. 100%. No less. Yeah. No less. No. We will win, we will lose, and we will draw. Right? Yeah. But I'll tell you what, for the rest of Birmingham City, leave him to do the job. Let him perform the job that you've employed him to do. Keep your noses out and let's get this football team back where it should be. Yeah. And yeah. I think if they if they do that and they continue to Cheers do that, to that. It looks like they are doing that, then we will start to have a you know we'll have a good season. Yeah. What's your thoughts, yeah. Mark? Pretty much what Paul said. Um I was I mean it seems already um light years away from the end of last season. It it <laughs> really has been a, a refreshing change. Um I just can't believe the, the difference in the club, the, the the feeling, you know, the good vibes off the pitch. Um, and we've got more or less a kind of apology from Don, not an apology as such, but he's almost put his hand up and admitted, you know, I'm going to take a step back, um, leave Itor to manage. And it's just been brilliant to see so far. I think mm-hmm. I think we it's going to be a hell of an ask to go from where we were to the top six. Um, but it can be done. I'm um, not saying it can't. Yeah. Um, oh, but Mark, sorry. We're in the top six now, mate. We are, yeah. All we've got to do is maintain that. we just got to keep there now, yeah. Um, yeah. Long way, hell of a long way to go, but there's no there's no reason whatsoever. I mean, look, to be fair, looking at the league this season, there's not a lot to be scared of. I mean, no. I know you've got your Norwiches and your Bournemouths, but is there really anyone who, who sort of, you know, sets a, you know, sets a marker down? I don't know. I'll just get. Do you think Mark? Mark, do you think Leeds? Yeah. Do you think Norwich and Bournemouth will be as strong as Leeds and West Brom were last season? And I, I don't I, think that. I, I don't no? think so. I no? think Bournemouth. I think Bournemouth will be found out a little bit without Eddie Howe. <clears throat> um, Norwich. I think Norwich will be strong. They'll be there or thereabouts. But I mean, people talk about oh, you know, Warner with Borough and all this lot. But we can we can equal them. I'm sure we can. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I just. I just don't know. Don't know it now. You know, I'm just, I'm just um, mindful. It's just two games gone. Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's not, let's not get too carried away. But it looks like don't we've get got too a bit carried of away. But 
Looks like, looks I mean, like we've got a bit of strength in depth, doesn't it? We've got a bit of quality. Well, we've got a lot of quality now in that squad. And, um, you that's know, the yeah. That's the key okay. word, though, isn't it? It's our options. But last season, it was a kind of case of having kids on the bench. I know I know. Pep used to say, oh, you know, that they're, they're good enough. But it, it's nice to have real options on the bench now, not just, you know, beefing up the numbers. Yeah, exactly. Real, sort of Carol Sandlin's written, I can't remember the last time I felt this positive at the start of a season. Keep right on with a big blue love art. Yeah, <clears throat> that's it. But, like I said, they've got to give him the reins, right? The reins. They've got to back off. Go back into your offices, do what you do, get the club running. I know everything's difficult at the minute with COVID going on. And you know what? We are absolutely 100% all here behind you, behind everybody. This this could be this could be a really good season for us. Yeah. And who'd have thought after last uh, the car crash of last season, you know, who'd have thought we'd be talking like this? Exactly. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though, Nick. It's just, um, it, it's agony not going. <laughs> It's really, yeah, it's really horrible, painful Mark. not going. It's not, horrible. You, especially, you know, Paul, especially the home game. Uh, Mark, I'll tell you what, you know, yeah. you sat there, sat the afternoon, and, and, and I was like, do I want to put my notifications on? You know, it, 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 it's, it's horrible. It's horrible for everybody, everybody. And I know it is, and I really feel for everybody that can't go. And that's not just the Blues, that's every team up and down the country. And, yeah. um, you know, to, to, to now be in a situation where we're looking probably – Months and months and months again. We, we we might not see any football this season at all. No, no. I think we're really oh, no. you're probably right. Well, possibly. I mean, I mean, to be honest, I've got a holiday book for the day of the player final, so I'll be abroad. I'm sweating. We don't get to Wembley, so I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, realistically, no. I don't. It wouldn't surprise me if you know, the whole season we no no fans. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. And the, and the and Linda, for the fundraising you've done for me. Right, this is uh, Brenda. Our lovely Brenda, Jeremy's um, chief carer. Now, um, there's a mission to raise a thousand quid and get some lads in to do some gardening for her, bless her. Um, Linda, stick me down for a 20 if you would, mate. I'll chuck that in. Um, please, 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 if you can give anything to this fund, then that would uh, be marvellous. It's, it's great that we can do nice things for nice people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I, don't yeah. Th- I don't think they're far off. I think they've raised a load, a shed load of money. Yeah, yeah, well, we're a blues family. We stick together. What a mm-hmm. comment. That's it. That's what we are, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's absolutely mm-hmm. what we are. That's it. Uh, right, going back to COVID, I don't know where this, this thing is going, right? Um, it's it's not looking good at the minute from that uh, speech this morning on TV. Oh, golly. You, you know what? Well, mm-hmm. it's gone from a level three now to a level four, hasn't it? Which is, um, you know, yeah. higher level, so... It's, uh, it's, it's unfortunately it's it looks like we're getting a second wave of it. It's one more than three. Yeah. Oh, I hey, Linda's just said <laughs> one thousand and eighty-five. Is that with my twenty? If not, bump it up. Uh, that's good. <laughs> good start. Oh, one thousand one hundred and eighty-five. Yeah. Pounds in a COVID pandemic oh. across the world, and you know what? The target has already been reached. It's what incredible. wonderful, wonderful, lovely, lovely people. Hey, eh? bang in, bang in. Uh, okay, I'm not going to talk about West Brom, but they uh, they certainly felt the, the the Premiership hard on the weekend, didn't they? Yeah, they yeah, they're going to struggle. Mm. Mm. That's enough for them. Uh, lovely <laughs> announcement. Need the Rock over from Blackpool from Caroline. Okay, lovely, lovely. We'll have some Rock. Anybody like some Rock? Would you like some Rock, Paul? Yeah, you can do. And a kiss me quick hat. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the very popular what's in the box is back. What's in the box? We've got a box on the table. Well, we haven't. Chris has. He Let's... is the only person in the whole wide world Except in the what's. universe that knows what's in this box. Yeah. Uh, OK, so what is in the box? And that was without mine, so it's £1,205 now. That is absolutely superb, isn't it? Brilliant, mm-hmm. brilliant, brilliant, mm-hmm. brilliant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. what's in the box? <coughs> I shall go and get the box, just to, say, yes, just, just to show you why I've got the box. <coughs> Then so stare at an empty chair, do da do da. While he's doing that, I think we're going to see a few outgoings now as well. I think, um, you know, there'll be two or three players leaving us, unfortunately, as well. Yeah, I think you're right there, Paul. I think, mm. I think Davis yeah, might go. He just says we won't see football this season live and in person. No. <laughs> it's horrible. No, I don't, I don't think we will either, unfortunately. And going back to what you said, Mark, you know, especially the home match days, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's agony, and it comes 12, 1 Horrible. o'clock. Yeah. Right, yeah, Chris Brown, it, from Ray Hobro, does it smell? Um, uh, it has got a smell, yes. It has got a smell. Is it castanets from Linda? Nope. <laughs> Is it a razor in the box from Tim Crouch's parody? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, That's 
actually Ian a Connor good one. Though. Push the bet for Tilt and Talk community of BHST on Friday through Twitter only. Let's raise some money. Okay, there you go, Ian Connor. That's marvellous. Well done. Leonard Edgington, hi to everyone at Tilt and Talk Show from me here in Queensland, Australia. Feeling good about this season. Keep right on. Keep right on to you as well, Leonard. They've dealt with it well over there, haven't they, Nick? John Smith, I can confirm we're doing a final 15 minutes tonight. Yes, we are, sir. Um to shut up. I actually bought one of those and posted the pics of me and Mark wearing it, laughing me out. Laughing me at off. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, so I was just going to say, Le- Le- Leonard Edgington from Australia, I was going to say they've dealt with COVID very well over there, haven't they? Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah Paul Lilly says, it, is it a mask? No, no. And um, Linda, Linda, Ed, there's always an underlying theme with Linda. She said, is it soft to touch? She's always a bit, always a bit pervy, you know, when you get to that age, you start getting a bit pervy, don't you? <laughs> G-string, no, it's not a G-string. Is it a cake from Ray Price? No, it's not a cake. It's definitely not a cake. Is it edible? <sighs> That's a difficult... Um, I suppose you could eat it, yeah. Thanks yeah. to Steve Portman. There we go. He's just put up a link to uh, Brenda's fundraising. Marvellous. Well done, matey. Well done. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make sure I get uh, oh, my donation chucked in there a bit later on, bud. Mm. Nice one. Thank you very much. And da, 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 da. what's in the box? A bag of anti-COVID face masks from Carol. No. Nope. Nothing, uh, nothing to do with COVID. Do you use it from Ray? Do you use it? Uh, yeah. You do use it, yeah. yeah. Is it a bar of soap from Penny? It's What's she employing? <laughs> that you stink? <laughs> no, it's not a bar of soap, Penny. Thank you very much. What, what else do you think she was? Linda wants to know, is it, is it mints? No, Some it's mints. not mints. No, 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 no. No, no it's not mints. Not mints. If it comes is up... Is it edible? Can you spray it? It, it? it is edible. No, you can't spray it. It's not links. No, it's not links. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, if it comes up or anybody's close, I'll let you know. Mm. No, would, you eat it? Would, you, would you have to cook it to eat it? Or is it? can you just eat it the way it is? You... you can you can cook it and you can eat it can the way it is, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Is it an apple? It's not an apple, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> International Space Station is due over in five minutes. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. Uh, Brenda Brown says, Hi, Nick and Chris, and everyone at Tilton Store. Keep right on this. I think yeah. this is one of our sorrows. And thank you, who put the GoFundMe on. I was overwhelmed with you all. I love you all. These gypsies conned me out of £1,150. The pebbles was either stolen or Steve said they may have cost 30 quid. Brenda, be careful. Be oh, careful. Yeah. Always ask somebody before you go. And then if anybody comes to your door sending you anything, sweetheart, shut it firmly in their face. Shut it. Ta-ra. Um, or they may have cost 30 quid. Even upsets me now until I get rid of. And my Blues family will put it right for me. Love you all. Please say a special thank you, Nick, to Linda and Steve Portman for arranging this thank you. Oh! Yeah. oh nice man. word, doesn't it? Well done. Uh, oh, there are some oh. immoral people about, aren't there, really? I've got goosebumps. Yeah. Oh, Is it a tea bag from Ray Price? No, nobody's got it so far. A it's terrible not... spitfire. I don't know what one of them is. No, Is it a no. stick of rock from Carl Sparrow? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Ray's asking, is it made of metal? It's not made of metal, metal, metal. Is it lemon Turkish delight from Linda? It's not. No, is it that, squirrel? That, they're special, they are. <laughs> is it a squirrel? <laughs> Nick, can I interject? Yeah, of course. Uh, we need the details for the PTSD for Ian Connor as well. If you can give me those. Uh, yes, so that I, can I, on, I will. I'll put them on the Tilt and Talk page straight after the show. Yeah, Chris, sorry, right? Ian, I haven't forgotten. It's just that Nick's, he, Nick's the, I, saw, I saw some on our private messages the other yes, day. Yes, yes, I did ask for it, yeah. yeah but, so I'll, I'll copy and paste that, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. as, so, as Ron PTSD, all going to say hi to Nicholas Wellsbury. Everybody, hi. Keep right on, mate. Death, hello, Nicholas Wellsbury. Keep right on. Good man, good man. Well done. Hi, Nicholas. Um, the PTSD charity that we're doing, <laughs> we're going to get knocked back again. We know it, okay. Um... I think what I might, might might do is send the money that we've got here off to the charity so that I can do some good with it at least and then yeah, yeah, and yeah. then continue it when we can we can start again. Mm-hmm. So for those people that have joined in the quid for a goal, goals for a quid. Yeah. Instead of kids for a quid, right? Goals for a quid. 
Thank you so very much indeed. And thank you also to Borsley Labour Club for chucking in a tenner a goal. Ten, that's £10 a goal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, oh, if we win a game 6 nil, he's number one, he's in the buff. He's in the buff for the rest of the year, right? And number one, we're going to rake in a fortune. <laughs> Um, so if anybody wants to join in with that, get hold of uh, Auntie Linda. Oh, no, don't get hold of her, you know, just contact her. Yeah. Uh, contact Auntie Linda and I'm sure she'll put you in the right uh, right direction. Um, has anybody else anybody else in the team done it a quid for a goal or what or not? I'm not sure. No. Oh, I've, I've, I have, yeah. I'm of course, doing yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Do, I'm yeah. doing it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Paul? Yeah. Paul? What's up? Are you, are, you, are you in for the goal for a pound? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, so that's that, come, every goal now, just looking at the screen, yeah. that's five quid, that's mm -hmm. 15 quid with Ian. Well, every, goal, every goal the Blues score will give you a quid, yeah? A pound for every goal with a score for the charity, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a good idea. Um, yeah. Best thing, I think, I think you, I don't know whether it's easier to pay at the end of the season, what do you think? It might be, yeah. I might have to get it. Yeah. Uh, or, or, do you know when they have the international breaks? Mm-hmm. Mm. Do it in right. stages like that. Okay, we'll work that. We'll yeah, work we'll work something out. We'll work something out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. nobody has got what's in the box yet. So, no, no, no. is it a swear box for fundraising? <laughs> it's not soap, Steve Portman. Is it a conquer from Pete Taylor? No. no, no Sixty-one no. more comments already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sausage yeah. roll, clover, garlic, carrot. Is it cheese, sausage, <laughs> black pudding, egg, Weymouth rock? No. A pair. Is it in a, it it in a wrapper? <laughs> no, it's not in a wrapper. Can I just say is no one? No, no one's really come Kelly? close. To be honest. Is it a chocolate bar? Black pudding? No. Banana cheese? Oh, I'm just going to read through these. Oh, yeah. Say your breakfast, Nick. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> you well. read out your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. It's not, in a, it's not in a wrapper. You can eat it. Is it one of my gilets? No, it's not. It's definitely not a gilet. It's definitely not a gilet. Is it, something that, is it something that would grow? Rather than guessing what it is, ask questions about what it is. And, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, ask me questions. You know, it, yeah. 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 Is it an Oxo cube or a no, dog biscuit? No. No. So it, you're better off asking questions and then we'll answer yes or no. Well, Chris will answer yes or no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, Caroline says we need to start saving guys. It could be an expensive season. Here's mm -hmm. hoping. Well... You know, Caroline, if it helps, it helps, doesn't it? If it helps, it helps. So we're all quid down at the minute. Yeah. You know what? That's what a great, what a great. I, well, I don't know where Linda comes up with some of these ideas sometimes. She's brilliant. Thank you, Linda. I genuinely mean it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So ask questions about what's in the box. Okay. On with them. Um, on with a bit more about the blues then. Um, eight or Cranker after that game and after the Brentford game. I just saw a positivity in his face as though he thinks like, you know, you look at him and you look at him and he's trying to write mind read as he's got coming off the pitch, right? I know what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. I've got that feeling that he knows what he's about and his, mm -hmm. his defence solid, absolutely rock solid. That's the best defence we've had for a long time, including the goalkeeper, as you said, Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. That's what makes the difference for me. When you've got a good goalkeeper in nets, you know, it, it puts a lot of confidence into the defenders there. Mm. But Friend has made a huge difference as well, though, at the back with Dean as well. Yeah. He's, he's so, solid. He's like, he, he reminds me of Kenny Cunningham. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's just like a modern-day Kenny Cunningham for me. So, but no, great. Like, what Sorry, Nick, I was going to say... Grab. What do you think of the Terrell grab? That was... Uh... Have we got the clip, Chris, by any chance? Uh, we have, Nick. I'll just... I'll play it now. Right, OK, oh, here we go. Off. Have a look at this. Let's have a look at what you oh, think. He's had a little verbal. He's had verbal with him. Oh, it's the... Uh, it's one of the coaches. <laughs> a bit unnecessary, isn't it, from one of the coaches? <laughs> well, there you I, go. I think that... And there you go, that was mm. the, um, the grab. Now, um, Terrell was obviously saying something... I think he was talking to the player as he came off. Nudges yeah. him a little bit and then waves his, waves his finger like that. And I don't think there's any need for anybody to grab somebody around the throat like that and push them to the floor. That was... Well, that you, was and why it, wasn't yeah. he sent to the fans? I've no idea. Even if it had just pushed him, it wouldn't have been so bad. But grabbing <laughs> him around the throat like that, he's just absolutely shocking. I mean, you could kill people there, yeah. Paul. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's dangerous. It was dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, I it's, mean, it's, it's they've, said, they've, said that, they've yeah. said that the FA are investigating it. I don't think it needs much investigation. There's nothing to investigate. No, 
there in black and white. Everyone saw it. So, like, so why wasn't he sent to the stands? You know, and if it, it does make you wonder if it's the other way around, what, how would it be, you know, with us? Oh, we'd mm. probably be doing points. We'd well, be, we'd be, we'd the stand we'd be anyway, sword. Mark. So, you know, it's not like they were short, is it? No, oh, yeah, that's true. So, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, obviously, we don't know what John Terrell said, right? No. Uh, and if there's any lip readers out there that could, you know, want the, the clip playing again, we'll be only too glad to do so. He's obviously said something to him. Um, mm. is, is that enough to put your hands around a man's throat like that? Hmm? Well, we don't, we don't know what was said, but they've obviously had some sort of altercation while the game was still going on, maybe when he went over for a throwing or something or what, I don't know. Mm. But um, nothing surely warrants that. I mean, that's, that's, no. that's pretty bad, isn't it? Grabbing someone around. Play it again. Let's play it again. Like it is. I'm just going to play it again. Here we go. Here he, we go. Does it, he, he actually right. does it, doesn't he, like that? With like three yeah. fingers. Oh, he's like had a little verbal. He's had verbal yeah. with him. Oh, it's the, Adam's um, apple as well. It's one of the coaches. Mm. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, is it a vegetable? Oh, who said that? Uh, Kev Kelly, I think. Uh, yes, it is a, ve- <laughs> it is a vegetable. Well, good comment. Good a comment vegetable. from Alan Watton. Good comment from Alan Watton. T- Terrell will be done for wrapping his net round Tate's hand. <laughs> he probably, yeah. The way the blues. Probably will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fine tomorrow. <laughs> That's just come up on my feed again, Chris. That is absolutely awful. That is diabolical it is, it action. Is, it? it really it is. is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah, the more you see it, the worse it gets. Yeah. I don't think, mm. you know, nothing is worth a, you know, potential, you know, injury. I like mean, what is, he, what is he, what is he to them? Is he their first team coach or what? What is he? Oh, I ain't got a clue. Is there assistant manager or something? It's just, a, it's just one of the coaches, isn't it? Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't know who was. Don't know. Mm, no yeah. idea. Never uh, is it soft or hard, Chris? It can be both. It can be both. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so oh, no. Send the bishop to the bar, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, Paul, your your feed is slowing down, but you, your, um, your your audio is fine. So. Yeah, okay. I don't know what, uh, Terrell will be done for wrapping his neck around Tate's hand. Yeah, that's true. I think he probably yeah. will be. Yeah, the way it goes. <laughs> okay, so everybody's going through. Everybody's going through the vegetables uh, at the moment. I don't think it's come up yet. Potato. It's not a potato. Leek, parsnip, sprout, green carrot. Uh, somebody's very, very close, but they need to be specific. Or as Dalton would say, Pacific. They've just come in. This is crazy tonight, man. Mm. Uh, knowing our look, the FA will say it was Terrell's fault for running into Tate's hand. The FL would deduct us 12 points and Terrell will get a three-match back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He looks all right, though, doesn't he, so far, Terrell? He's played two games now and he's... he's yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well yeah. impressed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, he looks like he's never been away. No, it's yeah. going to take him a bit of time to obviously get back up to full match fitness and speed because he hasn't yeah. played... That much since he left us, has he really? Um, Is it? Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, we, you know, if we can get that player back that we had five years ago, we'll. Uh, oh yeah. god, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's, he's still things not, are going too yeah. fast. These, these comments are going really, really fast. I, Abroad, I, I am watching them. Somebody has almost got it right, but not quite. Okay, you need, can you keep your eye on them then? And I am. Yeah, yeah. You need to be oh, specific. To do two jobs at once here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, you're a bloke. Um, Brenda says, what's the question? It's what's in the box, Brenda, and it's a vegetable. It's a vegetable of some description. Yeah, so there you are. Yeah, yeah. Is it a sprout? It's not a sprout, no, no. no. Is, it a Spa- is it a Spanish onion? <sighs> Hang on, you, you get this. <laughs> oh. So what was it? <laughs> it was a Spanish onion. Spanish, it's, ah. you know, it's a theme, isn't it? There's a theme going there. It's very, uh, hey. yeah, very... Um, was it, was it, was very it, was relevant. It. <laughs> <laughs> we don't copyright. I'll take us off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was a Spanish onion. Mm. That's well, a good guess. I've got to mention our good friend, I can't remember his name, the, uh, the Garrison Coffee Man. What's his name again? Yep, yep, Lee Mailing. at the Garrison Lee Mailing. Lee Mailing. Uh, we'll be going around Soli Hall with his uh, Garrison Coffee Company. So look out for him. If you want a cup of coffee on the move, then uh, that's where you should get it. That's where you should get it. And you can also get the Tilt and Talk show now on Amazon and Google Podcasts. Yep. What have they got to say, Chris? And all smart speakers. <laughs> and all smart speakers. But what, yeah. what, what, what they're going to say, not, not Tilt and Talk, because I tried that the other day. Oh, yeah. If you're, if you're on, at the moment, if you're on Amazon, you need to, uh, you need to search uh, SRB Media Podcasts. But if you're on Google, you just need to say Tilt and Talk, basically, and it'll play the, play the last episode. 
Or you could show Alexa, play me a legendary fan podcast. Oh, right. oh can you? Mm. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> You're what, Paul? I just said you can show Alexa, play me a legendary fan podcast. There we are. Yeah, of course there we are. are. Yeah. All good. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget we'll be on switch radio it's a one hour show tomorrow starting at 10 p.m that's tuesday night from 10 p.m uh chris has got some editing to do to make this a one hour one hour show so i'm sure he'll be straight on with that after the show yeah. and get it over to the, our good friends at switch radio mm-hmm. and i've stopped saying switch fm has anybody noticed oh yeah thank well, you Nathan's mentioned it yeah <laughs> no you all wrote to me the other day saying you can't say switch fm anymore or switch radio right now i've had it in the head all day i've got switch radio switch radio switch radio. and i mentioned it three times and nobody says anything to me well done nick <laughs> well remember. done nick <laughs> <laughs> well, have i mentioned my birthday's on christmas day that's coming you as well soon uh, <laughs> 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 um, okay folks i need nick i just need to uh, pop off for two minutes take a call and i'll be back in a bit okay if you can manage without me Take no problem. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll should be we right. do the old. Uh, should we bring back the let's get sure to? Yeah, we've got a couple of things going on tonight. We're going to do, as I say, the last fifteen. We're not going to tell you what that is at the moment, obviously. But um, Paul has now come up with a, a, a new little game, and if you'd like to explain it, Paul, away you go. Well, we did do it when we was in the studio. If you remember, we had the numbers in the hat, didn't we? Because we originally yeah. we had alphabetic blues, which we did. And then we did the let's get shirt in. I think we got about three weeks in and then we had the lockdown. So what we were doing was we were drawing numbers out between one and 40. We'll start again, by the way. I can't remember what we've had drawn out. That feels like years ago now, but we'll start again. So we'll, we'll do a random draw, number between one and 40. And I want everyone watching to vote for the best player you've seen play for us to wear this number. So I've now got a random number generator in front of me and I'm pressing start and I'm going to press stop and I'll tell you what number it stops on, which is number... 12. Number 12. Paul, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Your random number, number generator, you, you've put in one, you've put in 40, and obviously it's, um, you will just yeah. pick out whatever it, it thinks, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Remove number 12 next week. No, but we'll, I'll keep a record, don't worry. Okay, all right. I was just, just a thought, that was all. Yeah, I'll keep a, I'll keep a record. I'll remember, don't worry. So, yeah. number 12, who is the best player to play for Birmingham City to wear number 12? Mm. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. I was, going, I was going to say Stern, John, but Stern was 14, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Straight away, straight away, I'm thinking Barry Ferguson. Oh, Wait. yeah. Good one. Martin yeah. O'Connor. Yeah, Martin, yeah. Um, um, what did, Ta- did Tatey wear 12 at Wembley? Yes, he did. I, th- I think he did, yeah, because he came on as a sub, didn't he, and scored that header. That's a yeah. great shout, that is, Mark. Yeah. Kenny Cunningham, when he first signed, was number 12, because we had yeah. Steve Vick. Ken- Ken- yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's a tough one, then, isn't it? You got, I mean, Harley Dean wears it now, but I don't think he'll yeah. win it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a way to go, hasn't he? <laughs> Although he started the first two games very well. Yes. Um, trying to think who else. There will be more. I know, but I can never remember stuff like this, Paul. I can't help it. He's, my head just goes blank. <laughs> Darius Dudka from Jim Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got to be between Barry Ferguson and Kenny Cunningham, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Well, well, not Tatey, then. Or Martin O'Connor. Mind you, Tatey, yeah. Martin O'Connor. Martin, yeah. Gosh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. Just trying to think. Medi Nafti from Luke Acton. Yeah, that's good a, show. Yeah, that's a good one. I think we're just trying to think of anyone who won number 12. <laughs> Graham's asking, didn't players uh, years ago, and he went, went to 11. Yes, they did, Graham. Um, yeah. That was absolutely right, yeah. So if you were yeah. if you were playing in the number nine role, you got the number nine shirt for that day. But I think mm-hmm. now uh, everybody yeah, has we, a we, tailor-made we, shirt. Yeah, we, you know, so. Yeah, we only started. We only started with the squad numbers in 1999, didn't we? Really, we had a season in the early 90s as well for a bit, yes. and then we stopped for some reason. Yeah, I thought it was in the uh, 93, I think it was 93, not four. Yes. I remember a cup cup game against Plymouth, Coca Cola Cup, and uh, is it, we, oh, we won three 0 Steve yeah. Lynette, two for sub. Steve, who is that? Nick, Steve Lynette. Steve, L-Y-N-E-X. Yeah. 
by next. Yeah. From yeah. We, can count, we can count up anyway the votes to the end, but I think Barry Ferguson's winning quite comfortably at the moment. Yeah. 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 Ravel Morrison Ooh. from John Smith. Yeah. Good yeah. shout. Good, oh, good yeah. shout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Got to say well done for Tabik Singh for his achievements over last week. Well done to you, mate. Nice one. Yeah. Uh, Lee Mail is saying Tatey for me as I named my son after him. Wow. There you go. That's brilliant, isn't it? Naming your kids after the blues, isn't it? Yeah. All my kids would be called Bo. <laughs> Actually, my cat's called Bo. Yeah. Hey, boo. <laughs> Get it for you. Uh, Jeff Bowden from oh golly who's that it's just gone off my screen ah, Alan Watson yeah Jeff Bowden 1967 yeah, came on and scored a hat-trick with the number 12 shirt yeah. oh yeah yeah. So, so, yeah yeah of course uh, Linda's saying Chris is having a long wee isn't he <laughs> <laughs> uh, we couldn't possibly comment how far it is to go to his toilet to be perfectly honest with Linda he may have built a new one down the bottom of the garden <laughs> he might be in a, he might be in the weather spoons yeah, Steve, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve Gill's asking, was... Um, oh, God, these go off so quick. Ouch. Jose Dominguez, number 12. He's bad. Uh, so any, anybody coming on as a sub in the 90s before yeah, the squad would, would have worn number 12, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Brenda's saying Dukey. Did he wear number 12? No, no. no. This is where no, I failed. He was 15 when he first saw him. You win. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was 15, Djokovic. Um, yeah. yeah. But, uh... Right, Lee, I can do uh, one between... Do you want me to do one between 1 to 11? Emailing saying, Jose was number 40 upon arrival. Don't know about the second season. So there you are. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, people remember this. Yeah. I, I, think Barry Ferguson's, I think Barry Ferguson's one number 12. So we'll do two, shall we? Shall I do another one between 1 and 11? So this has got to be pre nineteen nineties then, yeah? Well, no, because you've still got one to eleven in the squad number, don't you? All right, go on then. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Number nine. Number nine. Oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> number nine. Welcome back, Mrs. Brown. Welcome back. Did you miss me back. when I was away? <laughs> got that slide. Well, you... Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Am I joking? Okay, so what so we've been talking about? Well, number nine all time then, Mark. So, so we've got number nine. So we've number had number nine. 12 and number nine. So the best players to play for Birmingham City, number 12 and number nine. All oh, right, okay. Kevin yeah. Phillips. Have you said Dave? Uh, Mikhail Fulsell. Fulsell. Latchford. Jeff, no. Jeff Orsfield. Orsfield. Marlon King. Shea Adams. There's loads of nines there, not there? Mm, Latchford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Latchford. Julian Dixon. Paul Fernlong. Paul Fernlong I used to like. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was a good player. You know, I mean, how, how do you, how do you choose between Forst, Forcell, and Kevin Phillips? I thought both were just so clinical. The best two natural finishes I've seen, followed Marlon, by Marlon. King. Yeah, Marlon King was good, wasn't he? Yeah, Kevin he was, was, but, but... Martin O'Connor have the number twelve shirt. Yes, he did. Yes, yeah. he did. Uh, Calvin, thank you. Yep, yeah, yes, he did. There you go, Bob Latch from Carroll. A, he did for a bit, yeah. Mm, Bob yeah. Latch from Carroll Sandlin because she's old like me and remembers him. Yeah. <laughs> Mick Hartford, recover away. Mick Hartford, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised Linda's not given somebody from the 40s yet. <laughs> it was number nine in the Leyland Daft Cup final. 40s? John Gale was number eight, wasn't he? Yeah, he was eight, yeah. Was it was Sturridge? It, it wasn't Sturridge, was, was it? it? Simon Stur Sturridge, yeah, it would have been. I think he was but 11. Gleghorn Gleg Gleg was 10. Yeah, Sturridge was 11. Was he? Yeah, so he was nine. Terry was Dempsey really... says the force, the horse and Phillips for him. Mm. Yeah, Peter and Love, Eddie Brown. Oh, what a... Too old for us. Uh, Brenda uh, wants to know where you've been, Chris. Uh well, I've been on the phone, Brenda. There you go. So he's been on the loo on the phone. <laughs> I have actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, at least we now know you can multitask. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Leonard Edgington saying, um, "Do God blimey, God blimey, where did this come from?" No, Trevor Francis was number eight, Brenda. Mm. Um, yeah. I'm having trouble with me lappy. Was it was it Phil Robinson, Mark? Was he number nine in the Yes, um... it could have been Robin it could have been Robinson, yeah. Phil yeah. Robinson. The, yeah. 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 Uh, Lee Lee Mayland just said yes, yeah, storage was number eleven. Yeah, because I think Dean Pierre was seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it must have been it must have been uh, Robinson, yeah. Yeah. 
Bunch of body lean or vac. Tony Hayes. Donaldson. Donaldson. Makes me angry. Damn, 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 damn. Never mind. Someone say Donaldson. Clayton Donaldson, yeah, Yeah, from um, Siobhan Kenny. Good one. We have Rotherham next up. Yeah, we do. Now, yeah. we've been through this scenario before where we've like, really done well, like you said earlier, against the top end teams with them that we expect to be up there at the end of the season. And then we go and do a banana skin on one that we expect to probably, mm. and I only say probably because it's very early days, be certainly in the, in the bottom half of. of, of and that's no disrespect to Rotherham mm. whatsoever. It's not. Um, but that's kind of just. As it is, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. We can't do the crowd, obviously. <sighs> Why won't they just let me in? Just jump <laughs> go over the top. Of the... <laughs> I could, I could pretend I'm a cardboard cutout. <laughs> just sit there, stationary. Yeah. Has anybody, has anybody become a cardboard cutout? I want to know people that have become a cardboard cutout in the stand. Yeah. It, if, so, if you was. are, if you if you were, I want to know what you were doing watching Coventry on Friday night. Yeah, I think yeah. I think uh, <laughs> I think the old lady, Absolutely the old lady, uh, the old lady Linda. I think she's one of the cardboard cutouts. I'm sure. I'm sure she's. She? Yeah, just look for the, the one with the grey hair and the you know. <laughs> Graham Brown says we'll smash Rotherham. I hope so, Graham, because I really I want nothing more at the moment than a big score. Even if we get five. Yeah, and have one disallowed. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Chris won't mind it either, right? <laughs> but we need to. We I think we really, to... really, really need to smash somebody proper. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be lovely to see. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take the one nil now. But to, to get a four or five uh, would be would be lovely to see. Um, you know, but this will really give us a good idea of where we're at right now because we've we've had yeah. two solid, two solid, two good solid performances, and mm. then you know we're coming up against a team now that we we I'm not going to say. Should be, but you'd like to think we're going to win this game, and you know it will certainly. T- we'll we'll tell what we're about on Saturday. Yeah, mm. one, one player be. that certainly will be up for it though is Wes Harding, isn't it? Oh okay. yeah, Wes is coming back, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so, Paul. You, well, Chris has gone again. He can't need another wee already, surely. <laughs> your uh, your prediction, Paul, please. My prediction for Saturday. Yeah. Two nil to us. Mark. Uh, I'm going to go 3-0. 3-0 um, no. no right. I'm going to go 4-1 to us, right? Mm. And I, I think we've got the makings of a damn decent team there. I really do. I, really, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't predicted a 4-1 scoreline since my son made me give him a quid to put it on when Jesse Lingard scored them four for us and I won 49 quid. That's the last time I ever had anything to do with gambling, right? Mm-hmm. He put it on, I didn't, but there you go. Chris, your prediction for the weekend? I'm not going to go 6-0. I'm going to go... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go for a 3-1 Blues. Mm. Mm. Kira Moore's also joined you with 3-1. Graham Brown's gone 4-0. Uh, 2-1 to the Blues. Let's have a look at... Ooh, funny. There's so many comments coming in. Yeah, it's busy, busy. Brenda's yeah. getting concerned about you, Chris. You keep disappearing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's trouble in paradise. Brenda, <laughs> staff, staff. It's, He's, he, he, he forgot to buy his tenements. That's the truth, love. He forgot <laughs> to buy his little old tenements. <laughs> <laughs> it's all this bloody water. Linda, 6 0 to the Blues. Hey! Wow, wow. Oh, surprise. Kieran Moore's gone 3 1. I'd love to see that. 6 0. Yeah. It's going, well. to happen. it's going to happen. It's going to happen, eh? Ray Bragger, 3 1 to the Blues. 2 1 to the Blues from Andy Irving. Boring 5 0 from the Blues from Pete Taylor. Paul Lilly's also going for a 5 0. Vic's going for a 1 0 win. Dave Twine, 3 1. And Steve Portman, 2 1. Uh, sorry, 6 0. John Smith, 2 1. Leonard Edgington, 3 0 Blues win. And 3 1 from Penny. Paul McCarthy, 2 0 to the Blues. So everybody is speaking. Here's a bit of a topic I want to discuss, which is that in this formation, we're only playing with one centre forward, haven't we? Yeah, we've, the obviously moment, bought, yeah. we've obviously brought Scott Hogan back and we've got Djukovic. Yep. So in this formation, we're not going to see them together, are we? Which obviously worked quite well last season, but you can only play one or the other in this formation. So what, mm. what do we do? 
Because mm. I think Hogan's probably too good. On the, on the form pre-lockdown, he's too good not to play as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. i tell you what we do, yeah. Paul. This is only my opinion, right? We let Ator Krankar make them decisions. Let him manage. Stop the club from managing the football. Stop the fans from managing the football. We all do it. I know we all do it, yeah? No, it's just, it's just a debate. It's just like... Um, a yeah, I know what you're saying, bring saying but like, it, 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 this is my message for today. And I know i said it twice now, right? Mm. They have to let him decide what's going on on that pitch. End of. Yeah. I know we've all got opinions, and that's what football is all about. Caroline Curry says, love you guys. I'm still listening through the headphones, but being a Manchester girl, I'm watching the football. Good luck to Manchester City tonight. That's all I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I think... <laughs> Scotty Hogan, I, I, I think now that he's got a permanent deal, right, he... he he got unsettled, I think, after COVID, uh, when, when lockdown came in, yeah? Mm. He was chucking them in for fun, yeah? Then we had lockdown, and then he came back slightly a different player, yeah? Maybe he was well, thinking... They, you, I think they all did, though, did they? He was going to go... Yeah. Something. He's got a contract at Blues now, right? So give 100% to that contract, to your number, and to the fans. Yeah. 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, nice, it's nice to have... It's a nice problem to have, though, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, and we've not had this problem for a long time, have we, Paul? No, 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 no. Come no. in, Mark. What do you think? What do you think, Mark? I just think, um, yeah, I think I think we'll see a more settled Hogan. Because um, he said himself, didn't he? He said an interview, uh, sorry, he said something in the media where uh, whereby he said, uh, you know, I've been living out of a locker. I, I don't know where I'll be ending up one, one month. You can't be like that, Mark, can you? You, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's, he's got a contract now. Come on, mate, settle yeah. down, get stuck in, do your training. That's it. Yeah, I saw that. Mark. Nice, Villa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice big, yeah. yeah, nice big contract. So yeah, yeah. I think we'll see. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a nice, you know, relaxed Hogan, and he can do the job. Or, yeah, he's, or, he's, or, he's, or, 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 Hogan will just, confidence will grow. I hate to put, yeah. a, I hate to put a down on it. Or he could bomb. He could. Oh, what? Sorry, Chris. He could bomb. What do you mean? It could not be a success. Yeah. He might not be, but all I'm saying is he's, he's got that opportunity now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's got a club where the fans have taken to him instantly. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And I know he had a little bit of a, a, a blip after after lockdown. I'm not surprised. We all did. Yeah, mm -hmm. none yeah. of us got yeah. back to everybody, everybody did, yeah. He, he, he's only human, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we can develop it. Let's see how Ata Cranker can develop that player, right, and, and, and get it going. Yeah. OK, another subject. Right. Locally to me, there is a young lady who work, whose daddy works in the butchers. Now, the butchers is next door to the Black Swan. Anybody knows me knows that I regularly go to the Black Swan and obviously have to pass to the butchers every day, talk to the butchers. Da, da, da. We're all very nice people up here. We actually communicate with each other, which is really, really special. Now, I found out that this gentleman's daughter, who was 13 years old, is a little bit of an artist. She's a little bit of a painter, ladies and gents. So... I got what I thought was an incredibly difficult photograph for her to paint. Now, I don't know who took this photograph, and I really should have probably sought permission first. But I said to her, I said, if you paint me that photograph, I'll give you 25 quid. 25 quid. Yeah. 13 years old. Yeah? Okay. This is not only the photograph. Well, it's not the photograph. <laughs> this is the painting of, of the that photo photograph that yeah. she did for me. Ah, oh, that's, that's good, isn't Amazing. it? Amazing. That's very clever. Yeah, very clever. And how old, is, how old is she, say? You're 13? 13, one three. That's clever. Isn't that brilliant? That is clever. Brilliant. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, really good. Now, that's a collector's edition because that's number one of I don't know how many. Yeah. If anybody else wants one, it's, it's 25 good. quid. Yeah, very good. It's really good, that is. Is that on, can <laughs> is that on canvas, yeah, is it, Nick? Is it on canvas? It's on canvas, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. oh yes. Yeah. I'll, take it the, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take it the photo you give was after lockdown because there's obviously no fans in there. <laughs> no, that, that was the um, that was the photograph that was actually taken. I don't know who took the photograph. It is a beautiful photograph. I mean, that sky over St Andrews was amazing that night. Mm, yeah. um, what, oh, right. I just said that. It's a, it's a just just view. It, looks like it looks like there's players on the pitch and no fans in the stand. So I wondered if it was after lock, you know, after. It, um, Paul, it may well have been. It may well have been. It, but... it, might, it might be our it might be our friend Carl Carl Newton may have taken that picture. 
Yeah. How nice is that, though? Yeah. yeah? For my yeah. little museum. It's fantastic. Really good job. Yeah, 13 years old. And you know what? She was like... A... She, she came, she bought it me, and I gave her the money straight away. And my like, face lit up. And I said, you know what? You're a very, very, very clever artist. Mm -hmm. Stick to yeah. what you're good at. Stick to what you're good at. Do what you're good at, right? Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody else influence you if you're good at something and try and push you in the wrong direction, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. This is what I'm blues. It's all, it's all relative, right? I'm saying to blues with a talk cranker, let him be good at what he's good at, please. We're begging you. As fans, we've had too much over the last 11 years. We've seen too much. We've heard too much. We've like, oh, God, it's... it's it's been, for fans, sometimes an embarrassment, right? That is where the girl is talented, yeah? That, that is real talent, that is, yeah. Really On good. the football field is where Ator Karanka is talented. Let them do what they are good at. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, Craig says, Nick's good at drinking. It's only Coca-Cola. <laughs> Sorry, Nick, did you just say that you paid straight away? Yeah. I'd say no more. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought, yeah, I, I thought Warren, I'd drink that Warren, Warren, was a, Warren was a star. I'd just like to say how well Sanchez has settled in, looks good with the ball and doesn't seem to waste possession. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. And his set pieces yeah. are very good as well, aren't they? His, his delivery from his corner is very good. They're mm. fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Did anybody see, see, did anybody see the, the, the um, San Jose video? What, what do you think of that? No, I've been a bit busy today. The, I think, I think, yeah, I tell you what, I've got to credit the club. I don't know who's putting these together, mm -hmm. but the announcement videos have been absolutely they have, yeah. uh, <laughs> ab well done, Birmingham City. Well, you know what? We can knock them down, but when they do something right, we've got to praise them. These have been, you know, you're waiting on bait your breath, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you know something's coming. You know, all right, we, we, we kind of knew that it was going to be Mikel de San Jose today. But to have that, uh, the, the videos that have come out for all the uh, all the new signings, they're absolutely mm. stunning. Well done, whoever's yeah. done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah really absolutely good. fantastic. I was going to play the um, San Jose uh, video, but I'm a bit frightened of copyright. I mean... We have to be very careful. Yeah, they, they take us down when, if we whistle or something. It's a you know? very, <laughs> very, very serious issue if yeah. you get stung. Yeah. Um, we're not up for that. We don't... Yeah, you know what? Nah, I don't Face, think Facebook has got a lot more serious regarding copyright. So, as uh, as many of our DJs have found, you know, they just take it down. And, you know. Shame, but there you go. I, I well, the, the very first one in lockdown, I had that one taken down. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was drinking in my bedroom. Oh, well, I can understand that. In my museum. Yeah, yeah. I can <laughs> of course, I played. Um, keep right on by, um, by uh, the original. Yeah, yeah, oh, taking quite. down, yeah, I'll take that down, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, golly, what's the name? The Scottish man. Yeah. Harry Lauder. Harry Lauder. Yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah, yeah, I played yeah. that one and then uh, and then we'll meet again at the end of it and that, mm. that, they, they both got took down, yeah. Yeah. Mm. A bit oh. silly, really, because, like, you know what we was doing, having a bit of fun, trying to cheer people up and one thing and about. Mm. And it's yeah. not like, it's not like it's modern-day music, is it, you know? Mm. Uh, Vera Lynn and, and Harry Lauder, crying out loud. Yeah. Now, I, I have an email every week from Google to tell me that... Um, uh, I don't have the copyright on the uh, Tilton, lads from the Tilton. Even though we've got permission to send it, I have a, I have an email every week to tell me I, I shouldn't pay it, but I do. Oh, right. But we've got so permission um, yeah, got, to got, pay it. We have, yeah, yeah, we have, yeah. Was it Bob Latch? I think Bob Latch. We've got the most number nine boasting. It's definitely Barry Ferguson as well. It's probably the best one, yeah, without a doubt. Mm. I mean, what before a my time, but oh, yeah. Player. yeah. I'm with you yeah. though, Mark. Between yeah. Philip, Phillips and Four Cells, very difficult, that is. They're both, they were both, so, oh, how do you choose? You know, they were both stunning, weren't they? Yeah. The most clinical yeah. goal scorers, you know, fantastic. Yeah. 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 And we had quite to... I was going we to say had... I was quite chuffed. Go on, Mark. Sorry, Paul. I was going to say I was quite chuffed for Phillips when he did get that, um, the winner's medal at Wembley. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, he did yeah. deserve it. Gonna say we had him. At, we had him at towards the end of his career as well, didn't we? Imagine if we'd have had him when he was like twenty five. I mean, you wouldn't, oh, be yeah. able, you wouldn't be able to. It would have been worth over 100, 120 million up now, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm. fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, good boy, Craig Courtney. Actually, I know I've been like I'm not, I haven't been digging. Please don't think I'm digging right when I'm on about like let him manage, let him manage. Right? Craig Courtney said we should raise or praise. I would have thought that Dong has been brilliant and his tweets have gone a long way to winning people over. He has been a lot better. Now, again, we are one team, we're one club, everybody with, with family. 
And it is from the man who, who mows the lawn, who paints the lines, who puts the goal nets up, the police, the stewards, the fans, the burger sellers, the team, the manager. You know, there's a multitude of people out there that that, that have to put on a show. It's, a, it's, it's, it's entertainment. So it's like a big, big show on a weekend. You know what I mean? And we've, we've all got to be together. We've all got to be together. And yeah, no I wouldn't ask one of the people who cooks the burgers to go and paint the straight lines. Not ever. Why? <laughs> My theme for tonight, uh, Mark, I'm, I'm on one, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're on something. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bit between his teeth, hasn't it? I don't like JD. I'm not on JD and Coke. I am not on JD and Coke. That's... <laughs> Uh, Kenny Burns was number nine from Paul Lilly. Of course he was. Yeah, he yeah. was a number nine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, didn't start yeah. off at number nine, but yeah, finished up at number nine, yeah. Uh, so Harold says, yeah. well, I cried when Bob Latchford went to Everton. It broke my heart. Oh, oh, yeah. I bet she was overcome with emotion. Yeah. <laughs> emotion. There you go. <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, players that broke your heart or made you think, oh, no. When the, when, they, when they left, me. apart from I, Trump, was, yeah. I was on my paper round in the morning. It was a well, every morning was cold when you were doing a paper round when you were 13. Yeah, yeah, or 14, I think I was. And didn't have a coach. I picked your papers up, put them in my bag. I was delivering, and then I turned the, the paper over and it said Trevor Francis sold for a million. And I sat on the curb and cried. Oh, the dear, yeah, the other days, me and my father. I was gutted when I was, I was... Oh, Chris. Bob. Hey. I think another one that broke me heart was uh, the, the sad death of Chucho Benitez. Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah, that, that was, that was, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah, was, that was sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so sad. Yeah. 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 I was I was I was gonna say I was heartbroken when uh, Brock Madsen went, to be honest. Really? Who's <laughs> <laughs> sorry? <laughs> Brock Madsen. <laughs> I remember being a bit gutted. I remember being a bit gutted when Paul <laughs> Devlin left first. You know, when he left yeah. for, for, for United. Who? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember um, him and Furlong had a right good partnership going on, didn't they? And yeah, then, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He uh, obviously fell out with Trevor and left, unfortunately, which was sad, really, because uh, he was a good good player, wasn't he? That was another one. So tough, and he came back. So tough, and he came back. Yeah, 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 yeah. When um, when um, only Nick will remember this, but when Hopper went to uh, Hoppy went to uh, Man City, that was a bit of a. I thought, what's going on there? He didn't do, he didn't do very well, did he? But uh, yeah, that was another one that was a bit strange. Steve, I remember as well. Steve Clary's going to Leicester. I was disappointed about oh, that. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Uh, Pete Taylor says I'm still not over Tom Adiemi's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pete. Uh, Ray says the Spice Girls splitting up broke my heart. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice one, Ray Mondo. Yeah. <laughs> See you in bar eight as soon as we come, mate. <laughs> Howard Kendall came to Blues and part exchange for Bob, Bob Latchford. He did, yeah. Kendall did, did all right for us as well, didn't he, Chris? Obviously, he the did, yeah, yeah. Didn't he, didn't he come with somebody else as well? Or was I, yeah, I think there was two of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to think now. It was. Uh, Alan Watton says, uh, is that Watton? Yeah, well, Alan Watton says Terry Hennessy was the first one who broke my heart. Oh, crud, yeah. he's going back a bit there. Six, and Vic says, I see a goodbye and thank you from the club for Paul Robinson. That was a bit strange, yeah. wasn't it? You know what? Yeah. A guy who's given his absolute all for that football club. So something that's obviously still gone on wrong in the background. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he'll come on and uh, have a chat with Bobo. us. Um, you know. That'd be good, yeah. Says, thank you, mate, because I'll tell you what, you did us proud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he wore his heart on his sleeve and ran his heart out for the club, didn't he? From the from the first minute to the last, even off the field as well, when he was when he was coaching, you know, he just that puts moment though, Paul, when he came out against Fulham. Oh, it was the amazing, wasn't it? oh yeah. man. Yeah. Oh god, I missed that. Finally, I, I saw him not so long ago and he kindly gave me his shirt here from the, the uh, Bournemouth game in the League Cup. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I've had it framed and put on my wall. You can see there. I might so, go um, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might come and burgle you. No, I better not say that, I? Because if you get, if you get Bob, <laughs> Nick, Nick's <laughs> put a balaclava on. <laughs> so that was, he's um, really Mrs. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't give me like that though, mind. He gave it, he gave it me in a blues carrier bag, and I've had it done like that myself. 
I just thought I'd say that in case he's listening, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can you really remember that far back, Nick? Yes, I can, Penny, but Linda can remember a damn sight further. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's Archie Styles. I think he was the he was the chap that came with um, Arid Kendall. I'm um, sure it was. Uh, Paul Lilly, thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, Martin's just uh, reiterated that. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Robert won't be out of football for long, will he? He'll be. He'll be back in somewhere very soon. He'll get a job. Yeah. Yeah. He'll get a job somewhere. Won't what he? a horrible, horrible industry to be in, though. You know, you you just cast aside like nothing's so aren't you? Left, right, and centre. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got you got Sean Rush as well, and good people like that at the moment yeah. out of work, haven't you? And definitely, yeah. You know, we had yeah. some really good people in the last. Um, you know, in the last lot of staff, didn't we, really, as well? Mm, yeah. Obviously, Richard Beale's been on as well. He was great as well, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Just in an hour, we've had 498 yeah. comments in an Cro hour. Crikey, crikey. 498 oh. comments. 499 now. Oh, I can't keep up with it. Uh, I'm so I'm really sorry if I don't read out everything. We, it, it's, it's impossible. John, but John, John Smith asking me why well, I've got a mirror on my ceiling. Uh, that's my light. That's my light, John. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. Brenda <laughs> <laughs> Brown. Francis left, it broke my heart when he got uh, booked at the Blues. I sobbed my eyes out. Oh, yeah, bless you. Yeah. Nick, 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 I've got the worst yeah. ever departure. Who? I've got the worst ever departure from the Blues. The Puk worst ever departure? What? what, what no, one got, I'm going to tell you it. I'm going to tell you it. Pucker Pies. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Disaster. And the shed. Disaster. And the half-time shed. shed. Yeah, the shed. Yeah, yeah. Linda ends. All right, okay. She's up the game here, Chris. She's up the game. She says Nick did his paper and on a penny farthing. No, sweetheart. Did <laughs> you get paid? <laughs> get paid, dog. Huh? Uh, at least, at least, Linda, my, my, you know, like, like yours, mine weren't parchment. <laughs> Roy, 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 Roy Hayward said, and, and, Doy, and, "And Doy going was a downer." <laughs> it was for me actually. Steve Claridge broke my heart. Amazing player. Can't believe we sold him for a million to Leicester from Steve Gill. Fabrice yeah. Mwamba when he had his accident at White Hart Lane. Absolutely, yeah. 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 That was yeah, uh, that was, was, you that know, was bad. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. You know what? When the medics worked on him for that long, and, and uh, wow, 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 wow. You know how amazing were they? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Linda says when Trevor Francis went, he was my hero. She was already drawing a pension then, by the way, ladies and gents. <laughs> Paul Lillard, Archie Styles, what a player he was yeah, as well, Chris, remember? Great player, great player. Yeah. Fantastic. Mind you, I, I hated seeing that Carling Cup team get broken up. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was what... horrible, the way that happened. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seb Larson and Craig Gardner and yeah, Roger just... and Scott Dan and all just, them players. I think it's just um, the speed of where they got dismantled. It's like every, you know, every day is literally yeah. one a day for, you know, it's horrible. Yeah. Uh, no, so, I didn't know that. No, I didn't either. Mm. And Martin Swinsco, uh, I think the Archie Styles comment was referenced to this from Martin Swinsco. Archie Styles came with Kendall. He, he did, yes, he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. 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 And that yeah. first relegation, that first relegation when Pennant went to Liverpool as well, that wasn't very nice either, was it? And Yeah, it's nasty, you yeah. Can't blame, you can't blame him, obviously, but, you know, it was still a, you know, losing all your... It's never nice losing your best players, is it? Mm. No. I think Robbie Savage mm. also hit me hard as well. That was another yeah, one. Yeah, that was another one. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, a great, yeah. great yeah. time yeah. with him the week, guys. And you know what? I 100% understand why he did what he did. 100%. Right, Craig Courtney says, Billy Ray Cyrus broke my heart, my achy breaky heart. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, the comedy started oh. about 15, yeah. Um, <laughs> Here's one. Uh, Peter Enkelman broke my heart when he left the Blues. <laughs> uh, Alan Watton says, Tom Ad Adiomi was uh, nicknamed Sat and Nav. He knew where he was, but didn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's happened to him? He can't. He still can't be very old, even now. Where is he now? Who? He was. He left Cardiff, didn't he? Yes. Uh, yeah. This great call from Ray and uh, Ray Obro. Seriously, the first time I was heartbroken in football was when Ian Handicides passed away. Wow. Oh yeah. yes, that was That's a sad day as well. Yeah. Good call. Oh, well said. Well put. And, nice a and a great player. Great player. Mm. Awful. I bet mm. shockers. I bet shockers coming in as well. Five hundred and nine oh. comments. Um, John Smith says, "Why has Paul got a mirror on his ceiling? That's not a mirror on his ceiling. That's just the sheen off the bean." <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul. Paul, what about shockers coming in? Well, disappointing we... signings. Uh, yeah, either way, really. I mean, I, rem you? I remember being buzzing when we got Jesper Gronkjaer and having yeah. watched him for Chelsea. I thought this is a great yeah. signing. 
Mm. He, you know, he needed an invitation to put a cross in, didn't he? He was he was frustrating, but you know, uh, <laughs> that, that that summer really, you know, we saw Muzzy, is it? Yes, Bagronkia, Mario Malcha. Yeah. Who had a, he had one good season, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Malcha, a lot of that, about, a lot that summer. Yeah. A lot of what about that what about Alexander Zeb? Yeah, he was another yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, he was the right left down. You know. Barcelona and that, Arsenal. And... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I've been <laughs> someone. This is the one for the night, Stephen Gill. Peter Enkelman broke my heart when he left the Blues. I've already <laughs> said that. I've already said that one. <laughs> that, my friend, is pure quality. Keep up, yeah, that is Keep up that. Sorry about that, guys. Keep up, man. <laughs> uh, says the mirror is on your ceiling to make sure your parting is in the right place, Paul. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a shocker as well. Newell. Coming in as well, yeah. Mike Newell. Oh, Mike Newell. He's another one. He's another yeah. one. Nicky Butt. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Yeah. yeah that was I, thought you. Got, I, thought, I thought we'd got the, the, the problem that was left by Robbie Savage, obviously, that empty void in the middle of the park. I thought we'd sussed it with him when we signed in. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then yeah. disappointing again. Yeah, yeah very yeah. much. Steve Porter said, didn't one of you deliver papers to Fred and Barney? Yes, Steve, it was Linda. <laughs> and, she, and she got a paid, <laughs> she got paid a groat every week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? We're not giving some stick for a few weeks now. Hopefully, Chris bless her. Oh no, yeah. She, she <laughs> no, Linda. She seriously, the work you do for everybody else is 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 above and beyond. It really yeah, is. It you, is you're yeah. a superstar, but unfortunately, you are going to have the rip taken out of you on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, definitely. that's a good. This this is a good shout from Stephen Gill. Darren Ambrose was a shocker, and he he cost us about two million, didn't he? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, he's yeah. Paul. Yeah. John Smith. So sad when Lou Macari left. I signed the petition outside the ground. You know what, oh, John? Said? Yeah. I drove yeah. from here to there on a weekday to sign that permission uh, uh, petition. Yeah. Oh, God, Energy yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. What about Pandiani? Come I mean, his debut was great. His, his debut was great. Probably when he scored. Didn't he, yeah. and he, he, scored against, against Max. he scored against all the big teams, didn't he, Pandiani? Yeah. Max United, Liverpool, Arsenal, yeah. Chelsea. Yeah, you know, but then emailing was put when Barry Fry was sacked, and it's uh, Manchester yeah. City one Wolves nil. No, oh, right, okay. Yeah, a yeah. good shout from Wayne Linden. Uh, Dwight York coming in. That was a bit of a, yeah. a, a shocker, wasn't it? As well. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's a great shout. That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah great Got a shot. couple of goals though, didn't he, against Charlton and Newcastle? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't play many games for us. No, no, no. Oh, another shocker! Yeah, Darren Anderson when he came in. Anderson. Whoa, he, he actually did all right though, didn't he? Yeah, he scored at Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He scored at Liverpool, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. At Liverpool, didn't he? Yeah. And Blackburn yeah. from Blackburn Spurs. 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 We beat, when we beat the Baggies four 0 as well, he scored in that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Mike right Hill said Tony Hately was the poorest signing from Blue uh, for Blues from the Villa. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> get, get it. Because good, we never signed Mark Virtue. Yeah, that would have been a good signing. He, he did all right, didn't he, on the loan? He did. But no, Pandiani, I think. I don't think we paid much for him anyway, did we, Pandiani? He was only a couple of million, wasn't he? Yeah, he, well, it wasn't a lot, was it? No. Two and a half, wasn't it? And I don't think there was massive expectation when we got him, because I'm not going to lie, I'd never heard of him at the time when he came in, did you? Didn't know a lot about him. No. no. Didn't he score for a, didn't he score for a de uh, Deportivo against Milan or something in the something, Champions League? Something like that. Yeah, something like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's all. One, that's all. One of the biggest disappointments was Alex Song. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what? Like, oh, that was that was such a funny night because like I'm jumping up and down in the black swan with a beer in the hand. Yes, we've just we've just signed Alex Song. We've just signed Alex Song. <laughs> a million miles away from him. We're never going to leave that. We're never going to leave. He was that there. He was at the training ground in an A to B taxi, though, wasn't it? <laughs> was he? Was he? Yeah, he was, honestly. Yeah. No, was he? He was. Yeah, I saw <laughs> no, what about was the he? Luton, name? What about the striker we had from Luton? What was his name? Oh, Vine. Roman Vine, yeah. Roman Vine. Yeah, Vine, yeah. yeah, Vine, yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. 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 yeah, he weren't much cut, was he? No, he was a let down. And I remember him back in, uh, you know, 20 odd years ago. Do you remember Lee Bradbury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone nicknamed yeah. him Bad Boy. <laughs> bad Boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad boy, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and um yeah. 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 It's we've had we've had some uh we've had some disappointing signings over the years, haven't we to be fair, but we've had some good ones as well. Mm. Yeah, we have. Yeah, DJ Campbell um, coming or going. 
That was a bit of a yeah. Yeah, D- DJ, yeah, cool. DJ Campbell was all right for a bit, wasn't he? Yeah, um, he, was, he was a great player. I thought he was a good, good player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Another, another yeah. one was Robbie Blake. Remember when we got Robbie Blake? From yeah. Oh yeah. He was. Yeah. He wasn't a Premier. He wasn't really Premier League. No, level, no, was no. He? Out of his depth, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Completely out of his depth. Yeah. <laughs> Massively. Yeah, Vassell. Alberto Tarantini was a disappointment as well. Oh, Tarantini. I remember, yeah. I've, I've told this before, but I remember when he scored that goal at St Andrews. I don't know how many games he played for us. He scored that goal at St Andrews and he was the first player I'd ever seen do a complete lap, complete lap of the ground, lapping up the supports. Yeah, oh, yeah. he let himself down though, didn't he? By uh... Was it drugs or something like that? Well, he, um, he he had a fight with somebody in the crowd, didn't he? Oh, right. Oh, I don't remember. believe. I don't know. Another good one from here, Graham Haynes, David Bentley. That was. Um... Oh yeah. 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 I always but... thought I always thought Isaac Vassell as well. Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't see much. Bit... I know he was yeah. fast, but you know, where, where he's never been the where... same since. He, he took that bad injury, didn't he? He's never really been the same since. Is, is, no, is, is he mean, still playing? No. Where, where is he now? I think he's still I injured think... at Cardiff. Cardiff. Just injured. I've oh, just injured. Just out. It's been yeah. injured for so long, yeah. Shame. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame when that happens. Yeah. Potter was a disappointment, actually, wasn't he? Oh. He was. Yes. Massive. So Potter, much- hasn't it? I, you look odd, and you think he's yeah. going to be another Jose. Um, yeah, Feliciano. Domingo. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Dominguez. <laughs> you know, a nippy little player, like, you know. Mm. Yeah. I could see a player there. There was there was, there was glimpses of absolute quality, especially when Monk came in. He, yeah. he got he got some, he got some good games out of him. Mm. But um, but yeah, overall he was a disappointing signing. Yeah, mm. I mean, when he can see... it's David Dunn when he done that stupid pass and messed it up. Mm. Yeah. But he was when he when he was David playing Dunn, though, he was yeah. quality. He, was. he, was he just couldn't game. stand yeah, the yeah, yeah. No yeah. Ball, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who's the? Yeah. It was a strike me sign from Liverpool. Um, um, Come on, come on. Come Liverpool? On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pesky. Pesky. He was a player and a half, wasn't he? Yeah. He played some, uh, you know, scored some important goals. If that we could have kept Paul Sal fit, Chris, if we could have kept Paul Sal fit to play with him, we'd have been fine. It's just that Paul mm. Sal injury, unfortunately, um, it's us hard, didn't it? Because you couldn't really rely on Heskey to score the goals to keep you up, uh, you know? No, no. Um, no. That was the problem. He was a great player to play off, though, wasn't he? Oh, he tried hard, didn't he? It's not as no, if he didn't try. He, was, he was good. At what he did well, he was brilliant at it. I mean, mm. Michael Owen famously said it, didn't he? He was the best player he ever played with in the front two. Yeah. Um, That's right. You know, but if, if we could have got full self fiery on that form from his first season, yeah. then we'd have finished probably even higher up than we did in that first season, you know, second season. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you're right. Michael yeah. Paul, uh, Jim Shepard said Peter Lovenkranz. Yeah, that's another good shout. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh, he came with a good reputation, didn't he? Yeah, South African. Yeah, and Vic says uh, Vinny Samways. Yeah, Vinny Sideways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of, one of the worst was Barnet from Barnet. Right uh, Lee Malin's updating me. He said Tarantini jumped into the crowd versus Wolves. And I, I don't know. It was. I knew he I jumped into the crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dave Barnett part. from Barnet. Dave Barnet from Barnet and Liam Dice were a great partnership, weren't they? Mm. He was a good I like Barnett, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was a great player. Yeah. Was I saying uh, Ricky Otto? What's your thoughts on Ricky Otto? I know he's <laughs> fun. Well, apart from that, apart from that world he scored against Liverpool, um, you know. We used to call him the Jeppo, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a... Trevor Smith gone for Fabrini. That was another one that didn't really work. Really, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how, a good one. How many players like that have we had on loan and they've been great when they're on loan and then we get them permanently? You could even put Do Gary in this yeah, category. Yeah. Yeah, um, he went down as well. Once we saw him permanently, mm-hmm. I remember Chris Holland as well going back further. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. he was brilliant uh, on loan. Graham, we saw Graham, him on permanent and that's really put one in the mix here. You know, listen to this one, right? And I agree with you, mate, one hundred percent. Jack Stora had potential. He did, yeah. He definitely yeah. did. Yeah. Blew it, blew it. Yeah, blew it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just did. just just going back to that Paul regarding um you know uh, blowing it and that like but uh, this is what I'm saying about Hogan I mean we've, we're signing him now on a on a permanent so who knows let's yeah. hope, let's hope let's hope he doesn't follow suit yeah oh, so, who was the useless foreign midfielder Bruce got and I think we first saw him at West Ham away on the telly oh Paul I don't Paul Paul. Paul. Was it Sally was it Bonk? Was it Bonk? Bonk. 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 Okay, this bonk. <laughs> bonk. No, no, it's, no, listen. It was pronounced. Yeah. 
B A K, wasn't it? We pronounced it bonk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's serious. <laughs> no, 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 you don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless, oh. unless you're on a boat. I remember Sally Theo from this Liverpool. He was down. dreadful, he was. Yeah. He replied, yeah, he he replied was Robbie Savage. He was Robbie Savage's immediate replacement. Yeah, he was awful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Siobhan says, who's the dopey goalie we had? I think we had a few, didn't we? Which, which, which one? one? <laughs> Steve which, Vickers, awful. Which one? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Steve Vickers? Steve Vickers. He was all right. He was all right when we went, you know, in the championship, when we got promoted. And, you know, in the, he got injured yeah. in the final, didn't he? had to go off, but... Yeah, you know, for all he did, or obviously in the Premier League, his leg had got, his leg, legs had gone, and he was like thirty-seven. Well, you Rooney really hammered him, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Linda Magnus says I was so sad when Shay Adams went. Uh, Will Paul Lynch is saying Paul Hipkisson and Doy. <laughs> 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 I don't know whether that was a reference to you know what <laughs> bodes well for Hogan signing after a loan. Yeah, it does. Pete Taylor, nice one. Yeah, Nick, last fifteen. Yeah. Last fifteen. Quick. Yeah, we're doing the last 15. Right, OK. Uh, Linda from... Oh, hang on. Right, I've just got to get this message from Linda because I don't know what it was. Yeah, ba -da -ba -da. Okay, okay. The last 15 minutes tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because we need a little bit of fun and frivolities. That's why I chucked a load of jokes on uh, on Facebook the other night just to cheer you up. There's nothing personal in any of them. Please don't take any of them to heart. It's just comedy. It's just humour. Okay. I shall do another tranche this coming week. No, please don't. However, the last 15 minutes tonight is going to be taken up by anything to do with football... That's not Birmingham City, it's football and TV programmes. This is Mr Hipkiss's idea today. <laughs> no idea. TV programmes and football. We came up with a few earlier. I went yeah. the uh, the Karankis. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Paul, what was one of yours? I'll start us off with 15 to Wone. 15 to Wone, Mark. <laughs> what about the uh, Blue Peter on Love? Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Martin, Martin, Martin Granger Hill. Oh, <laughs> or Stern, Stern John Craven's news round. <laughs> it's going to get downhill, isn't it? What about the Callum Riley Wild show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the comments that are coming in then. Um, did, 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 did nothing yet. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Only fools and horse field. Only fools and horse field. Excellent. Well done, Graham. However, Peter Taylor's gone with better with only fools and horse field. Yeah. Only, oh, okay. Only fools and horse field. Oh, ah, that's a good one as well. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Peter. Well done, Peter. Good one. Nip, nip, <laughs> nips it in the bud there. Downtown yeah. Albion. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, Wolverhampton Wanderers, nil Manchester City, two. That's a shame. Uh, <laughs> how, are the other, how are the others getting on? Do we know? Do we care? Uh, no. Oh, okay. The, um, the, the, they're starting to lose a few players now, ain't they, Wolves, to be honest? Mm -hmm. Doherty's obviously gone to um, Tottenham and then Hutter's gone to Liverpool, to, to Liverpool so they're yeah. starting to, the, you know, the, the exit door's starting to open a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bubba might have burst. <clears throat> Uh, Terry Zulu Dempsey asked what was the last 15 the last 15 minutes Terry is anything to do with TV programmes and football Duke with the equaliser from Stephen Glill uh, Gardeners Weekly oh I like that one I like, I like that, that. Right, well done oh, Home they're... and Away they're coming in now Home and Away or Home and Away but yeah, yeah. Uh, Brendan Brown I thought you said Home and Away it works with both <laughs> Brendan Brown was asking me how old was I when I first went to the Blues. It was 1973, so I was 12. Kerry Dixon of Doc Green. Good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one man on his dong a lot, though. One man on his dong! <laughs> 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 I think I'll make myself. <laughs> Devlin Advocate. Yes. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Ron Paul Rosie, of the Odin Bailey. Rock Paul of the Odin Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Granger Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurting, I'm hurting. <laughs> I can't see. I love that one, Rising Camp. Uh, <laughs> we've got Last of the Summer Vine. Yes, very good. Yes. Oh, very good. Golly. Very good. Okay, so the Villa won. Football and TV programmes. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. My belly's up. Oh, yeah. dear. Tim and the Flower Pot Men. 
Uh, in flowers. Uh, Top of the peps. Top of the, Top of the peps. <laughs> <laughs> Dong's Den. <laughs> Last of the summer row and vine. Rising camp. Oh, <laughs> much of the day. That's a good one. I like that one. Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> Isn't it nice to come on here though and have like a you know I do this to me. It's Ding nice dong merry and have positivity, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm just saying, Mark, it's good to come on here and have positivity, isn't it? Like obviously after yeah. the previous some of the previous shows, obviously, you know, back in the last season. Doom so where bloom, we yeah, that. it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. You know, like I said earlier, it's it's a whole new I mean, last season seems miles away now. You know, it's yeah. a whole new world, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sounds cheesy, okay, but yeah. Back to, fun. back to the fun. Starsky and Much, the Bill Ken writes. Uh, zoo time. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, it ain't half hot pie. Hot pie, get that one, yeah. Yeah, it's ain't half hot pie. It ain't half hot, To enjoy another day. That's <laughs> <laughs> quite good, yeah. That's quite good. Oh, dear. <laughs> Bell Enders. Hogan All Hours. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, where'd I'm you get it? Think, I can't think of any more. No, no, no. Everybody else will. Uh, oh, come on, got to be there. Got to be loads. Yeah, um, some more. Uh, Paul, um, uh, Raymond's just said, What's your views on Scott Harley? The old right mm. back. Um, mm -hmm. He was a great player, he was. Mm. He was very good, yeah. He. Um, I remember him. I mean, I was very young when he played, but I remember him being very quick. And yeah, um, I think he was he was quite quick, wasn't he? Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He was a quick one. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of the right player, and he was pretty solid right back. Yeah, he wasn't too bad at all, was he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. He good coming after Kevin Ashley, didn't he? We had Kevin Ashley, and then yes. he did. Where did he yeah. come? Where did he come from? <laughs> Exeter, Exeter, I think. Exeter. Exeter. Oh, did he go on to play for Southampton though? Uh, I believe so. Or was it Portsmouth? I know he played for Portsmouth. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading. Yeah. And then we had Ian Clarkson, don't we, after him? Is that right? Or is that yeah. around the same time? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Clark, he was just before. Yeah. OK, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put a few more funnies in for you. Here you go. York and Mindy. Good one. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Neil Strictly, come dance, sing. Oh. Oh, re repeat that one. Neil Strictly. Come Duns, D A W N S I N G. Stephen Carshare. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George Friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It'll be all Dwight on the night. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost me bell. Joe Hart Beat. I'm not just saying this because it was my idea, but this is one of my favourite ones. Hulk Hogan, Match of the Grey. <laughs> Much of the grey. That's a good one there. Coffee the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> yes. What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Horse. Inspector Horse. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Doctor. Who? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> Inspector Horse. Oh, God. Third rock from the Bernard Sun. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Remington Luke Steele. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I'm absolutely really great. <laughs> people, are, people are really thinking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Joe Hart to Hart. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what's that one from Craig Courtney? I can't, I've got tears in my eyes. I can't read it. <laughs> Family Fortune A's. Yeah. Oh, Family Fortune A's. Dongs of Praise. That's <laughs> 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 tipped me over the edge. You tipped me over the edge. I'm laughing. I'm not, I don't from... remember half of these. Oh, what, about, um, what about Beal or No Beal? Yeah. yeah. Beal or no Beal. Oh, yeah. 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 Or uh, Beal's about. <laughs> Beal's about. Gary Beal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Panda <Rock. laughs> Oh yeah. All right, just Danny a little Blint, bit. Danny, B Danny Blint date. <laughs> Danny what? Danny Blint date. Blind date. Oh, Danny right. Blint oh, date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> of of day, of day, of day, then, ladies and gents. 
My brother is coming up from Leamington Spa to see me this weekend, and he'd be very welcome. He's going to show around all the uh, local pubs here. And one thing or another, mm. massive Birmingham City fan himself. His name's Mick Grumpy Old Man Spall on Facebook, and um, he doesn't look like me. <laughs> Nick, I doubt if anybody looks like you. Oh, uh, dear. So, um, yeah, I used to go to the Blues with him back in the day, and there was uh, me and my brother. Uh, a lad called Tim Swinnerton, great guy from uh, um, Leamington. His dad used to own a pub. I actually slept in the bath with a tap running on New Year's Eve one night. Um, <laughs> and then we had a game of football at eight o'clock in the morning with trousers froze. A <laughs> 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 uh, guy called Gambia, a guy called Haggis, and his brother, I can't remember what his name was. And there was always, we used to make the journey from Warwick to Leamington every week, uh, up on the bus on the Midland Red. Straight into Leamington Spa, full breakfast, pint of milk, down the pub, tis was. Oh, yeah, you have to... We'd do stupid things like super glue two pence pieces to our noses and oh, go in yeah. fancy dress and do all sorts. Like, we were just mad. We, we were like mad, mad as ours. And um, there are a few things I can't tell you. But we, <laughs> um, but it's, no, it's going to be great to see him. Great. I've not seen him for a, a very long time. So, uh, yeah, if you've got relatives and family out there, get in touch with them, guys, because you know what? It's important. Because every single day is a day less that we've got on this earth, yeah. You know? And I mean that for everybody. And you know, you can see the wall in our house. You never know when that time is going to be. You never, never, ever, ever know. And if you can get down to the Blues this Friday, please find out the time. Um, give him a guard of honour and give him a clap as he goes past. A proper Blues fan that uh, deserves it. Deserves it. Definitely. Mm. I'll be there. Mm. Mm. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Gra Mrs. Grounds, boys. <laughs> Mrs. Oh, God. <laughs> this, 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 this one for me is the winner of the night. French and Ron Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Bill is about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bill are about, yeah. yeah. Gold's house party. <laughs> oh. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what, about one, what about one for you, Nick? I've got one for yeah. you. All creatures great on sport. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, where do I drink? <laughs> and he's asking me where do I drink. <laughs> Penny Wood is asking me where I drink out of a glass penny. Exactly. That's answer's perfectly simple. Now, usually the Bolts and the Swan, two brilliant pub, two brilliant pubs in town. Uh, Carson Young's Prison Break. Oh, dear, that was over the top. <laughs> Oh dear, Ivan the engine. <laughs> Love thy neighbour, not be six. <laughs> Love thy neighbour, not be six. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Like it. Like it. Oh, you know what? If ever you feel proper down, listen to this show because I tell you what, I think we ought to just ca carry on with this last 15 minutes every week. Mark, oh, it's yep. your turn next week to come up with a subject, right? Next week, yeah. Next All right. Week, it's your turn to come up with a subject. We're going to go round and round in circles. We're yes. going to do what? every other week right so it's your call yep. next week my turn actually yeah okay uh, just a reminder yeah. you can you can um, listen again uh, after tomorrow on all the major platforms also you can, if you use your smart speak you can also also get us and we're on um, switch radio tomorrow night yeah. at 10 p.m there you go there can you i just go. say can i just what? say chris you look no. very refined with your beard thank you very much did you touch of the old um you know Opening up Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just couldn't be asked to shave. Is there a shortage of shavers? Have everybody bought the shavers up in Saudi Arabia? You're on semi lockdown again. Then. <laughs> okay, the last three: Gary Gardner's World, Vicar of Dribble, and Savage Butchers. <laughs> I like the Vicar of Dribble. from Ray Hobro. This has been the Tilton Talk Show. Paul Hipkiss, thank you so very much for giving me your time once again on Monday night. Pleasure as always. Good night, all. Mark, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks, buddy. I wish we could see you all in person. Hi, you know, Take it's care. so difficult, it's horrible, one thing or another, but blah, blah, blah. But thank you again. Thank, thank you, you to every single body out there. Yeah. Cracker Jack Butland. <laughs> 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 thank you to everybody out there that's made me laugh. You know what? Laughing keeps you going, guys. And we are heading towards some seriously nasty times again. And if we can't stick together, then there ain't, we ain't got nothing. And that's what we're going to do. We'll have to do it through Zoom for weeks and weeks and weeks to come. Yeah. And it's sad, it's horrible, it's sad, because like there's nothing like that personal interaction, you know, you can throw things at each other and one thing or another. And, um, and we do. 
Yeah, no, it's it's just horrible, right? And it's horrible not going to to the to the blues and seeing everybody. So best wishes to all my good friends at Accessi Blues, uh, Steve we, Portman, Brenda. We have all the the pleasure, in, sorry, Nick. We have the pleasure of Wayne Alcott joining us next week, don't we? Yes, yes. we do. Yeah, Wayne yes, Alcott. Yes. Um, apologies for Frankie tonight. He will come back on another show, and he really was very apologetic. But uh, three of his staff couldn't turn up for whatever reason tonight, and he had to go and uh, run the gym himself. These things happen, we understand it. So all, all we do is we just pick ourselves up and carry on, carry on. That's all we can do. Mrs Brown, thanks ever so much for hosting once again. <laughs> and obviously you've got a lot of work now doing editing the hour-long show tomorrow. There's so oh, much work in the background. Our special thanks to Craig Courtney for the work that he does in the background as well. Well done, Craig. Oh, well yeah, done, massive, Craig. massive. Does a load, does a load and of stuff, um, yeah. from myself, from Mark, from Paul, yeah. Chris, the whole Tilt and Talk team, all the background staff, you know what? We all have our jobs. We all know how to do them. So let's do our jobs. Let's keep you entertained, keep you informed, and keep you together. Talk and talk. That's what Mondays are for. Good night.